Have you ever noticed just how defensive a covert or vulnerable narcissist really is? Like they can't even take the smallest criticism or accountability for something that they've done without spinning it into some kind of defensive, blame shifting thing where they become the victim. My name is Lise Colucci and I am here to help you understand and transform your life after narcissistic people have been in it. So the covert narcissist and how they get defensive. Let's talk about that. These are the types of narcissists that can't just dismiss you with arrogance when they're met with something that creates a need for accountability in them or when they feel like they're being criticized, judged, or questioned. When they feel like the mask has slipped, anything like that. Okay, so the overt narcissist or the less covert narcissist will just dismiss you and we'll get angry, we'll walk away, we'll, we'll just, you know, get on with it. A covert narcissist, this is kind of where they are easy to spot. This is where the exposure of who they really are starts to happen and where you start to see that they do not behave in situations where they have to take accountability or they're questioned or anything like that, like an adult who knows how to be healthy in relationships. So they will get defensive, they will shut down, they will go silent and they will turn the table so that they become the victim. They will become passive aggressive and devaluing when they are met with anything that questions anything about them. They have a really, really fast reaction to anything that causes a sense of humility in them or when they feel exposed or vulnerable in a real way, they will flip it into being a victim or blaming you. I mean, it's so extreme. They will blame others for hurting them. Have you had that happen? Do you know what I mean? I mean, for real, let me know in the comments because this is really confusing because when they start the victim stance and when they shift the blame onto you for pointing something out and how much you hurt them, oftentimes what happened is the kind heart in you is awakened. The vulnerability in you wakes up and you start giving in to that narcissistic behavior and coddling them and nurturing them and taking care of them and apologizing for how horrible you were in the situation. When actually all you were doing was asking them a question or pointing something out that needed to be said that is normal to say in a relationship or anything, any minute little thing that they find offensive. So is this content about covert narcissists something that really interests you? And is it something that you've lived through and experienced or are you living with one right now? Hit the thumbs up and the subscribe so I know which content that you like to hear. And you guys leave me comments and I'm happy to talk back and forth with you in the comments section later about this stuff, okay? So, so in a healthy conflict, you will have two people or more, but let's just take two for now, and they will have their own points of view about a situation, conflicting points of view about a situation. In a healthy relationship, each person is open to the other person's point of view. In a healthy relationship, each person is open to hearing the other person's point of view. Whether or not it changes their point of view or affects their point of view in a way where it slightly changes, or they can come up with a compromise that serves both people's points of view, right? With a covert or vulnerable narcissist, two people's point of view, the narcissistic point of view is the only one that's going to be given the attention, okay? Because when you state your point of view, they shut down and they go away and they hide and they protect themselves and they deflect and they get passive aggressive and they blame shift. All right, so what happens then is the points of view that you were having the conflict over are now in the background. What's in the foreground is the behavior of the narcissist that then you are trying to fix and trying to bring out the listening. You're trying to get your point across so you may still be coming at the situation restating your point of view in 50 different ways to get them to listen to you because it's so basic and so simple and it really isn't that big a deal and why are they shutting down, right? And that covert vulnerable narcissist 
will continually pull the game that they're playing where they refuse to be open to another person's point of view. All right. So then what happens is our conversation's over. Conflict is now heightened. The communication about the initial conflict is gone and everything turns to fixing the situation by you backing off the original topic and catering to the feelings of the narcissistic person. That is one of the most unhealthy and non-productive communication styles, manipulation techniques, so unhealthy in relationships. Okay, that you can never have an adult healthy conversation when there is any form of conflict. And that is that. So real quick here, what are some of the ways that these covert narcissists or vulnerable narcissists will act when they're being defensive? Blame others. Like I said, they'll blame others for hurting them in the situation, for hurting them, and then completely derail the entire conversation so that the whole thing is about how horrible you are of a person because you hurt them. Another thing is they withdraw. They withdraw, they shut down, they go silent. If not silent treatment, it's a different kind of silent treatment. It's not the angry, hard stare silent treatment. It's the, oh my gosh, I'm so injured, curl up in a ball silent treatment. They'll use deflection. I didn't do it, you did it. What are you talking about? I didn't do that, you did that. So, you know, blame shifting, but in a very deflecting way. It wasn't me, I don't know. Something happened over there, I don't know what happened. And they will change the subject. They will change the subject, they'll stonewall. They will end a conversation and shift the conversation in a split second to where you're talking about things that are way over here that have nothing to do with the topic that you were trying to talk about, but it kind of seems like it does. And then you're arguing about something over here so the original topic is forgotten. Familiar? And they'll do things like stare right through you or stare blankly at you because they, they you know, they act passive, passive aggressive anything to invalidate you. And what happens is you end up feeling invisible. You end up feeling unseen and unheard. Again, if you need any help with anything, coaching, group coaching, or peer support, check out the information in the description of every video, and I will see you guys next time.